morning. Only members are here when you're like what you're doing. Iburu, Iboya, Ibochiche. Odu, Iroso Meiji. Iroso Meiji is where the sun sets in the west, as opposed to a Yobi, which represents the sun rising in the east. Iroso Meiji also represents Oduara. It's actually where Oduara was born, Piedra de Rayo or Changos Thunderstone, which was a pact between Shango and Aroni, where Chango, Chango is known as Olubon Yela Shebora, which means actually where Chango is wrapped up in the secrets of fire and he in, encompasses himself in fire. Shebora. You know, so may you, is where holes open up in the earth for the first time. It represents all holes, all graves, Kodum. It also represents the secrets of Oroeña and the depths of the earth. It also may, it's a very difficult sign to understand and those who have this Odum as their Oduifa are very difficult people to understand. In Hiroso Meiji, I own Pataki, where there was a fisherman who had a very large fishing boat, but this boat was destroyed, or partially destroyed in a storm. And this fisherman became very depressed and lost his, uh, his faith to a certain extent. And his wife kept pestering him every day, go si urula, go si urula, go si urula for consulta, go si urumila for sodde. Husband didn't want to, but his wife, was very persistent. And she finally convinced him to go see Urumila for Osodi. And this Odun was seeing it also me. And Urumila prescribed for this fisherman to do a boat with a fishing hook and fishing net and various animals and various materials. So the fisherman complied. And Urumila told him to place his boat in the middle of the ocean. So the fisherman got on his, his broken boat and completed his boat and left the boat in the middle of the ocean. A couple days later, he caught wind that the king of his, his land was missing. And there was a bounty for the return of the king dead or alive. So in the travels of this fisherman, he came upon a, uh, a fishing net in the middle of the ocean with a lot of debris on it. And there lay the king, the body of the king. So the fisherman recovered the body of the king and was able to uh, receive the bounty, which was with a lot of money.